If you use programs like Photoshop or digital audio workstations, you know that their secret weapon is the ability to use plugins. Plugins allow third-party developers to add functionality without having to access the program's source code. Examples are digital effects or photo filters. But if the plugin developer does not have access to the application source code, how does that work? It must mean that the plugins are loaded at runtime and in this video you learn how that works in Python. This is the image I will work with. I will use tkinter to create a window and a pillow image library to load the image. I start the main loop and execute the code. And that works. It is at this point where the image processing can take place. Here I will add the code to take the picture and boost its red values. The first thing I do is convert the image to a matrix of RGB values. This should result in a matrix of 800 by 450. That is correct. I boost all red values in the matrix. I convert the matrix to an RGB flat list. And put the data back in the original image. Let's see if that works. It does. Let's simulate choosing a filter. I will not create an actual drop down list for this. I will choose the filter like this. I define three filters and select the first one. I check for the filter and when I execute the code it should work like before. And it does. Notice the Dutch flag is on the right side of the image. Now I add a second filter. This one will mirror the image. I select the second filter and try again. Very nice. The image is mirrored. It is at this point where the first problem becomes clear. To add a third filter, the switch need to be changed. This violates the open-closed principle and if you have seen more of my videos, you know this is one of my favorite topics in software engineering. There will always be some switching mechanism to select a filter, but with the help of polymorphism, I can improve the code drastically. Let me show you. The first thing I do is create a class for each filter. I will put them in folder Plugins. Each filter gets its own Python file. The process method takes the RGB matrix and the width and height. Then it applies the filter. and it returns the processed image matrix. I do something similar for the mirror filter. And I return the processed image matrix. I have now put all processing code in the filter classes. I import them in main. I replace the filters list with a list of filter classes.
Notice I do not instantiate them yet. Now I can get rid of the switch. And use the filter like this. Does it work? It does. The image is mirrored. I choose the red filter. Very impressive. The first task is accomplished. The filters are decoupled from the main program. Things are already more flexible, but the core program still has dependencies on filters. To support new filters, the core of the program would have to be changed. Now I will take the decoupling further and create the possibility to extend the system without any code changes by loading the filters as plugins. I create a module for the plugin loader. Class Loader will have a single method that returns a list of plugin classes. The first thing I need to do is list the plugin files in folder Plugins. I import OS. I iterate the list and print the files to see if it works. I import the loader in main. I create an instance and execute the code. This is the list of filter plugin files. I load them. Once I get the filter class from the module, I don't need any reference to the module anymore. That is why I use this name. I load the module. And get the class from it. But which class? The plugin filter classes have different names. No problem. I give them the same name. And this one. Now I can use the name. I import util from importlib. The plugins list now has a list of plugin classes. I use them in main. I get the selected filter directly from the plugins. I delete these import statements and try again. Very nice. Notice that index 0 is the mirror plugin. When they were loaded, they were sorted alphabetically. That means that index 1 is the red filter. And that is correct. And now comes the reward. Without having to change a single line of code in main, I will add another plugin. This one will make the image black and white. I execute the code. And everything still works. I load the black and white plugin. It should be at index 0. And yes, that works. Main is fully decoupled from the filters and plugins can be added by adding new classes to the plugins folder. 
Loading the code dynamically is important to create plugins, but everything starts with good polymorphic design of your classes. And if you want to learn more about that, click on this video right now. There you learn how polymorphism is the key to adhering to the open-closed principle. 